Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, hi if you're new, and welcome to what has turned into quite a substantial book haul. It started off with only five or six books and I was thinking, is that really enough to do a haul? Yes, because I'm quite happy with the ones that I got, so that'd be fine. And then I went to Devizes yesterday and I got a lot more. So this is gonna be quite a haul. As always, Duke and I are playing ball while we film, so I do apologize, but this is a bit of a feature now. I can't say no to that little face, but he's actually just gone off to investigate something. I think he buried um, a C-H-E-W. We don't say the word out loud because he knows what it is, but he buried one yesterday um, and I think he's gone to investigate. So anyway, let's start with the classics. Um, I have a pile of classics here. I have two Shakespeare ones. I've got Antony and Cleopatra and the Comedy of Errors. I don't know anything about either of these, but he's now picked up a really noisy toy. This is sheep, by the way. We love sheep. Sheep was a guilt toy, basically. I had to go and work a shift for the day. Um, and he was very clingy in the morning and didn't want me to go. So I found a pet shop during the day and I bought him sheep. And anyway, apologies. And let's go back to Shakespeare. I don't know anything about these. This was a pound, this was one pound 25. I am determined to read Shakespeare. Um, and these are quite thin ones. I thought these might be easy ones to start with. I'm not sure. Um, but I have got a few others. I've got Othello, I've got Hamlet. Um, so if you could recommend one that might be good to start with, please let me know below. I've then got Mrs. Dadaway by Virginia Woolf. Uh, this is just on my TBR and I was happy to find this copy for a pound. It's from the Vintage Classics collection and I've got quite a few of these. And I've got another one this collection. I've got um, Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. Again, don't know anything about it, but very odd cover. But we'll go with it. Different edition this time. I've got a Penguin English Library edition of Far From The Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. This was £1.50 and I picked this up yesterday and I just really like the cover. So we're going with it. Hello. Oh, we're now carrying round the C-H-E-W that we buried yesterday. I don't know if I can show you his cheekiness. Where are you going to put it now? I don't want to know where that's going to end up. Right, anyway, we have got a Clockwork Orange. This is in the Band Books um, collection and I'm quite intrigued. Oh, it looks like it came from the Independent. I didn't know that. I didn't look. Um, but yeah, modern classic. This one, I don't know if it's a classic or not. Please forgive me if it's not. I assumed it was a modern one, I'm not sure. It's the Rules of Civility. It's just something I've heard a few people on BookTube, including Olive from a Book Olive talk about, and it sounded quite interesting. We have two poetry collections now. I've got this little 150p. This is a survival kit for modern life, 101 poems to get you through the day and night. And it just looked like a little cute, sort of almost a coffee table book that I can just pick up and have a nose through every now and then. And then for £2, I got Poems on the Underground, this gorgeous hardback um, with basically all the poems that were on the London Underground during a particular period. Um, and I thought that'd be quite interesting. Right. Non-fiction. This is quite a mix. Please run with this with me. Um, I've got Going Lean. I've got to cover the top because there's a sticker with somebody's email address on it. Whoever donated it to the charity shop. I'm quite into learning about the lean principles and things like that. So if it's something that I can bring into work every now and then, I'm all for it. We have got Love Warrior by Glennon Doyle. This was an author buy, so I can't tell you a lot about it, but it's a memoir. It should be quite interesting. This one, F My Life, um, this is basically a collection of short tales of people that are having extraordinary bad days and I just think it'd be a bit fun to pick this up. Maybe make me feel every now and then that there's a bit of normality in mine. This one, seven kinds of people you find in bookshops. Um, I just, a dad picked this up and said, would you be interested? And I just grabbed this. I was like, yes, I will. So it's written by, I believe, somebody that ran a bookshop and just talking about basically some of the fun experiences with types of customers that he's had in. Could be good, sounds good. We've then got Girl Code, um, and this is basically about the story of two girls who code tech phenoms, phenoms, I'm not a word I'm familiar with, but it's about um, these women in this male-dominated industry, was in gaming, um, 
but he says it's laugh out loud, funny and empowering, and that sounds like a winner to me. This one, again, this is another fun one. This is the Time Waster Letters, and I think this is somebody, you know, I love Joe Lice, the comedian. Has everyone seen his videos where he just sends daft, email, daft emails and things like that? I think this is another person that does this, and it's just letters that they've sent various people. Um, whether he's organising a surprise clarinet party, or designing scarecrows made from beef, or merely looking for his lost shoelace, Robin Cooper is clearly a man with far too much time on his hands. Again, I think it's just going to be a fun book. Then this one I got because it's on the list of books that you should read in your 30s, apparently, and... Again, if you've seen my channel before, you know I love a little list like this. This is I Feel Bad About My Neck by Nora Ephron. Um, other thoughts on being a woman? I don't know. I think it's just like random advice about various topics. I'm not too sure. We shall see. We shall see. And then this one, last non-fiction, All That Remains, A Life in Death by Sue Black. This is, yeah, she's a professor of anatomy and forensic anthropology and uh, talks about the many faces of death she's come to know looking into forensic science i just think it's gonna be quite an interesting read i've heard really really good things about this so i'm all for that right another readjustment we're only halfway through Are you still with me please stay with me right i've got a pile of hardbacks here we're on the normal fiction thing now so if you read one of my or if you read if you read one of my vlogs, if you saw one of my recent vlogs where I read a couple of wintry books, you would have seen that I read another book by this author, um, The Christmas Murder Game. Well, this is Murder on the Christmas Express, Christmas Express by Alexandra Benedict. This was a pound. I love this edition. Um, I bloody love that book. So I was all for this. And I believe it is just a murder on a train. I, do you know what? I didn't even read the details. I was like, I'm having this. We've got a map. We've got murder and mystery and I'm all for it. So I'm looking forward to this. I might try and save this till towards Christmas, but I really loved her other books so much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Then I got this love. I, I think I've got a paperback version of this, but it was a pound. No, it wasn't. It was 150. Um, but it's a gorgeous hardback of The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And this was all over BookTube before um, when I first came out. And it sounds absolutely fascinating. So... I wanted a pretty copy of that because I think I'm going to like it. This one, I've heard nothing but amazing things talked about on booktube, so for a pound I wasn't going to let it go. It's Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. I believe it's a romance, but all I've just heard is it's a must read, it's fantastic, so we shall give that a go. Then this one, a bit divisive. But that to me, red rag to a ball. I'm picking it up. I want to see which side I fall on. And that's The Club by Ellery Lloyd. This is a thriller where I believe people are just getting bumped off one by one in this club. Um, or celebrity guests and things. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But that's the impression that stuck with me. Um, I thought I'd give it a go and give it, make up my own mind. This one chunk, but it was £2.00. And bear in mind, I haven't even read A Little Life yet, but it's To Paradise by Hanya Yanagihara. I've heard amazing things. It's a lovely condition. It's in lovely condition, sorry. Um, and yeah, I had to do it. I don't know anything about it. Somehow though, it is on my TBR, so at some point I must have read something about it and gone, yes, pick that up if you see it. And then I've got Stephen King. I've got Full Dark, No Stars. I believe this is a collection of half a dozen spooky stories. I'm not 100% sure again, but is it contents? Yeah, it looks like there's four stories in here. If I see a Stephen King, particularly a hardback, particularly for about a pound or one pound 50, I'm picking it up. So I treat myself to that one. One more hardback, this one, uh, middle grade, I think. It must be The Primrose Railway Children by Jacqueline Wilson. I think this is one of her more recent ones. And oh, we're going under the dust jacket. Oh, look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? So I believe this is a retelling or a spin-off or something from the Railway Children. Um, but for £1.50, I was like, yes, I'd like to give that a go. Right. 
we still got a lot more to go. I'm so sorry. I found Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. This is £1.25. I found, and I went back and I checked, I got books three and four in this series um, a few hauls ago. So I found the first one now. So I'm now on the hunt for book two in these editions. But I just know it's a fantasy series and I've heard nothing but good things. Then a book's been on my TBR for ages and I can't tell you the number of times I've nearly just ordered this online. But it's A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. I believe this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Um, and I think it's part of a trilogy, but look how shiny. Um, I've heard good things, so wanted to make up my own mind. Found a cheeky little goosebumps, and I can never remember while I'm out if I've got them or not, but for 50p, I wasn't gonna leave it. Cuckoo Clock of Doom, because I need to sit down and reread all the Goosebumps books I picked up recently. I found Cinder, the first of the Lunar Chronicles. Again, this is another one that I nearly just bought several times, but pleased I didn't because I found it for a pound. Um, and I believe, is this like a Cinderella retelling or something like that? But Cinderella's actually a, was it a, a gifted mechanic in New Beijing, but also a cyborg. I don't know, I need to give it a go. I've heard so much, I need to just give it a go. This one I got, this is a pound and it's Equal Rights, third book in the Discworld novels by Terry Pratchett. Again, like the Goosebumps book, I can't remember what I've got and what I haven't got. So if I just see one edition that looks in good condition, um, I will just pick it up. So fingers crossed I hadn't got that one. Then I got Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I know that I've got this on my Kindle, but sometimes I'm in the mood just for a physical copy. So for a pound, I was going to go for it. Um, heard good things. Right, a couple of random ones now. I did get a box set. Now, although the books obviously have been loved... Um, I thought £5 for the entire after <laughs> box set was really good. So, yeah, had to be done. Pain to carry, but had to be done. And then just to finish, I've got two children's books that I just, I couldn't leave. This one, Five Minutes Peace, this is the 30th anniversary edition, stunning hardback, in a case. I remember this being read to me as a kid and a lot of good memories so when I saw this for £1.50 I was like yeah just for memory's sake we're doing it and in this one I am the seed that grew the tree a nature poem for every day of the year look how gorgeous this is and how absolutely stunningly illustrated this book is it is gorgeous it was £2.50 so it came home with me so that is my haul hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've read any of those or you want to read any of those would you recommend would you not recommend you think i'm gonna like any of those or hate any of those um and i hope you're having a great week and i'll see you in my next video bye